The 2016 Federated Auto Parts 400 was a NASCAR Sprint Cup Series stock car race held on September 10, 2016 at Richmond International Raceway in Richmond, Virginia. Contested over 407 laps, extended from 400 laps due to an overtime finish on the 75-mile D-shaped short track. It was the 26th race of the 2016 NASCAR Sprint Cup Series season. Ju Gibbs Racing's Denny Hamlin won his second career race at Richmond and third race of the 2016 season. Kyle Larson made his way to a second-place finish. The race had seven lead changes among different drivers, as well as a new track record with 16 cautions for 89 laps and one red flag for 20 minutes and 23 seconds. Report Background Richmond International Raceway, RIR, is a three-quarters mile, D-shaped, asphalt racetrack located just outside Richmond, Virginia in Henrico County. It hosts the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series and Xfinity Series, known as America's Premier Short Track. It formerly hosted a NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race, an IndyCar Series race, and two USSC Sprint Car races. Entry List The preliminary entry list for the race include 41 cars and was released on September 5, 2016 at 12.07 p.m. Eastern Time. Practice First Practice Kyle Busch was the fastest in the first practice session with a time of 22, 318 and a speed of 120, 979 miles per hour. Final practice. Casey Mears was the fastest in the final practice session with a time of 22, 396 and a speed of 120, 557 miles per hour. Qualifying Denny Hamlin scored the pole for the race with a time of 22.069 and a speed of 122.344 miles per hour. Qualifying Results Race First Half Under mostly clear evening Virginia skies, Denny Hamlin led the field to the green flag at 7.47. Ryan Blaney brought out the first caution of the race on lap 10 after suffering a tire blowout and slamming the wall in turn 1. The race restarted on lap 16. The field settled in two place and rode around the track. Martin Truex Jr. took the lead from Hamlin on lap 52. The second caution of the race flew on lap 85 for a J. Almendinger spinning out in turn 4. Kurt Busch exited pit road with the race lead after missing his pit stall. He came back in and the lead went to Hamlin. During the caution, Greg Biffle got into and turned Tony Stewart on pit road. Jimmy Johnson and Casey Kahn were sent to the tail end of the field for speeding on pit road. The race restarted on lap 92. The third caution of the race flew on lap 96 for Chase Elliott suffering a tire blowout and slamming the wall on the front stretch. The race restarted on lap 100. For the next 102 laps, the race ran green. Truex took back the race lead on the restart and held it until Johnson suffered a tire blowout, slammed the turn one wall and brought out the fourth caution of the race on lap 202. Second half. The race restarted on lap 212. Debris on the front stretch brought out the fifth caution of the race on lap 223. Brad Keselowski was sent to the tail end of the field for speeding. The race restarted on lap 228. Kurt Busch held the lead for two laps before Truex took it back. Matt Kenseth took the lead from Truex on lap 246 as the sixth caution of the race flew for David. Reagan suffering a tire blowout and slamming the wall in turn 1. Regan Smith opted not to pit when the lead lap cars did and assumed the lead, but came down two laps later and handed the lead to Hamlin. Five drivers were sent to the rear for various penalties during the caution. 
Kevin Harvick and Reagan for speeding, Eric Almirola and Kenseth for a pit box violation, and Brian Scott for too many crew members over the wall. The race restarted on lap 251. The seventh caution of the race flew on lap 266 for Paul Minard rear-ending the wall in turn two. He went on to finish 40th. Kyle Larson exited pit road with the race lead. Danica Patrick, commitment line violation, and Truex, speeding, were sent to the tail end of the field for pit road infractions. The race restarted on lap 272. Hamlin powered by Larson to retake the lead on lap 273. The eighth caution of the race flew on lap 284 a single car wreck involving Casey Mears in turn 3. The race restarted on lap 285. The ninth caution of the race flew on lap 292 after Michael Annette suffered a tire blowout and slammed the wall in turn 2. Larson exited pit road with the race lead. The race restarted with 104 laps to go. Truex worked his way back to the lead with 96 laps to go. The 10th caution of the race flew with 78 laps to go for a single car wreck in turn 2 involving Carl Edwards. Hamlin exited pit road with the race lead. Ryan Newman, speeding, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr., pit box violation, were sent to the tail end of the field for pit road infractions. The race restarted with 73 laps to go. The 11th caution of the race flew with 71 laps to go for Al Mendinger slamming the wall in turn 1. The race restarted with 67 laps to go. The 12th caution of the race flew with 63 laps to go for Kenseth slamming the wall in turn 2. This came after contact with Keselowski on the previous restart. Kenseth said after the race that he was sure Keselowski would send a tweet out or go on a TV show and explain how it wasn't his fault. But he knows better than that. He knows his angle was bad and he just drove way up in the corner because he made a mistake and he was trying to make up for it and had no respect for anybody on the outside lane. Unfortunately, we had a wrecked car because of it. Quote. The race restarted with 56 laps to go. The 13th caution of the race flew with 53 laps to go for Al Mendinger wrecking on the front stretch. The race restarted with 49 laps to go. The 14th caution of the race flew with 45 laps to go for Matt DiBenedetto suffering a tire blowout and slamming the wall in turn 3. The race restarted with 38 laps to go. The 15th caution of the race flew with 36 laps to go for an 8-car wreck in turn 3. It started when Stewart came down across the nose of Newman's car and sent both of them into the wall. The red flag then came out to ensue to facilitate cleanup around the track. After 20 minutes and 23 seconds, the red flag was lifted and the field continued under caution. The race restarted with 31 laps to go. Hamlin was pulling away from the field and had the race all but locked up until Smith suffered a tire blowout, slammed the wall in turn 3 and brought out the 16th caution of the race with two laps to go. Overtime The race restarted with two laps to go. Six laps past the 400-lap advertised distance and Hamlin scored the victory while Kurt Busch spun out coming to the overtime line. Post-race Driver comments Hamlin said in victory lane that winning the race feels great. I, I'll tell you, our cars were really running well. Wheels and the whole group just gave me a great, really got it tuned in there the last half of the race. Just good restarts. Finally everything just kind of worked well for us all day. IDIDN. T think staying out was the right thing to do. But great call there. And actually, I got this from one of our Toyota guests on his birthday day today. He gave me this. He said it helped him get through tough times. So kept that in the car. And thank Eli for that. Question mark. Race results. Race summary media television
NBC Sports covered the race on the television side. Rick Allen, Jeff Burton and Steve Lettard had the call in the booth for the race. Dave Burns, Mike Massaro, Marty Snyder and Kelly Stavast reported from pit lane during the race. Radio The Motor Racing Network had the radio call for the race, which was simulcast on Sirius XM NASCAR Radio. Standings after the race